Hey everybody, this is the captain. We got a video request <clears throat> and wants to remain anonymous. Hello Aaron, I would like to stay anonymous for this video, but can you use my first name? Okay, his first name is George. So he's no longer anonymous on a first name basis though. I got a degree in chemical engineering a year ago, and since then I could not get a job. I have applied everywhere, oil and gas, food, pharma, water, construction. They either do not respond or want at least three to five years of experience. Turns out I am not alone. Many of my friends, STEM grads, are in the same situation. Is our economy that bad? I live in Canada, but when I hear Obama making a claim that we need more STEM grads, the first thing that comes to mind is that it is complete BS. Also, should I try to learn programming and get into IT or wait till the economy approves? Not going to happen. Thanks. Send me your rate. Cheers. <clears throat> anyway, well, here's the deal, uh, George. Um, Yes, the economy is that bad, and it is bad for everyone, especially if you're younger. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again, doesn't matter if you're in Canada or the U.S. Uh, economic growth is not half, but it's about only 55, 60% of what it used to be back in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, when evil, conservative, libertarian, free market things were in charge. Um, and, uh, yeah, so with the economic growth uh, slowing, uh, there just aren't that many jobs out there. Secondly, you have the baby boomers who should have retired a long-ass fucking time ago, but they didn't because they didn't save up enough money. They didn't do math because the maths are hard. Uh, they realized they don't have enough for retirement, or they got divorced, and they didn't, then they lost all their retirement, and they got to go build it up again, or they were stupid enough to pay for my generations and your generations degrees in you know PhDs in puppetry and philosophy um, so they are not getting the fuck out of the way also they have mismanaged the economy in part as well uh, so that's why so there's no jobs on the demand end and on the supply end there ain't none of these old people retiring so there's a log jam and, and since they don't retire no one can get promoted and so there's very little um, um, entry level opportunities uh, so that's that's kind of why it is, and I and trust you, me, dude. I know, I know. I I graduated in the mid to late '90s, right before the tech boom, and it took me at least a year to find a job. And I graduated top of my class. So a couple things. Let's be direct on. Did you graduate from a good school? If you did, uh, it could still be bad. But if you didn't graduate from like a really good school, yeah, that's the problem of going to like you know, an average school. I'm not talking like you know a fly by night school. You can just go, you know, Big Ten University. Um, so that could be one thing holding you back. Uh, the other thing, it looks like you're applying for jobs that have at least three to five years experience. I'm sorry, it doesn't matter what, I know this, I know this. It doesn't matter what you're capable of. They don't care. They, they don't believe you. Uh, and on top of it, again, there's no jobs available for what you've been trained in. You have to go entry level. And it's going to be below your skill set. It is. Um, just, just get used to it. So you got to find, maybe lower your sights a little bit and find jobs that require no experience. And if that's not the case, you can't find it, you know, then that's, you know, I don't know. But um, yeah, it is that hard. And, and But yeah, three to five years experience, they're not going to take some kid fresh out of college. Uh, also, are you looking all over the place? Now, I know you're looking at different industries, but man, get ready to move. That's it. I mean, go to Calgary, go to the Fort McMurray area. There's the Bakken oil fields. Find out where they're hiring and go there. That's where you got to go. Um, this is not, you know, World War II where America and Canada remain untouched because we're not. There's no ground war at our place, I and mean, you could stay at the factory for five years, and we need everybody. Um, it's it's well, the jobs are over here. Now they're going to be over there, and then they're going to be there, and uh, yeah. So you just got to find out where the jobs are and go and apply. Um, <clears throat> but in general, yeah, no, it sucks. Getting out of college sucks. Um, especially now the economy is that bad. Look at youth underemployment. And I know STEM, I know you've talked to your friends, I know you've had anecdotal experience, and I know it's probably even empirical experience. Um, but the um, it, you're still in a better position than anyone else who's graduated with an inferior degree, and that's most people. Uh, so look at starting salaries. I know you maybe haven't gotten the job. You just got to keep applying. You just got to do it. The other thing, maybe look at yourself. Have someone take a, a, a third opinion at you. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you pick your nose in the interview. Do you present yourself? You're in a suit. I know these are dumb questions, but I got to ask because, yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense that a chemical engineer isn't, isn't getting a job a, a year out of school. Um, but yeah, so those are my thoughts. Apply other places. You got to keep applying no matter what. And then, um, you know, get, get creative. Go overseas. See if you have to go overseas or something. And then maybe have like a buddy of yours take a look at you like before you go into the interview, like, you know, I don't know. I, really, I don't. I mean, I could have been doing things that were horrendously bad. 
Um, one thing I would do though, see if you can't in the meantime get like some contract work. See if there's something you can do. I don't know how, but look up for RFPs on the internet. And something I don't know, but um, yeah, it's just this is this is going to be probably the suckiest part of your life. It really will. And uh, but once you get past it, then it will get better. Just you know, just get into a company in the meantime. See what you can do. Hopefully that helps. Toodles.